Welcome to the MTG Greybeard. I am playing my Tosh's Hideous Laughter deck. Thought y'all might enjoy seeing me uh, bang my head against the wall in the standard format. I'm stalled in the, uh, the platinum range. Can't seem to find my way into the diamond. But today I've got a ruin crab. My frost boil snarl is moving slowly, but that's okay. Cast the Ruin Crab. Now, it is designed to work with Evolving Wilds, or you get to do two landfalls and the one turn. Always go for islands in this deck. I don't need a whole lot of mountains. Nice. Thanks. Yep. Oh, but you're going to get Abandon the Post, which you can flash back. That is the trouble of milling in the Midnight Hunt environment. There's all this cool flashback stuff. Well, got another Ruin Crab. Unfortunately, I don't have enough land. Hopefully I'll draw land next pull. Two lands and I got my Galazeth out, who makes a treasure that I can use to cast instance. Aha, here is a landfall. I'm glad to have Cathartic Pyre in my hand, just in time to zap that hoarding ogre. I want to do the deal damage side of it, hit him, and then I'm done with my turn. I'm just gonna pass. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attack. Oof, can't do into the royal on that guy. Gonna take the damage. I'm gonna have to wait until they declare combat before I enter the royal with the kicker. Welp. Jaded Soul Sword's gonna be hurting me. Pass to attackers. And now I'm gonna royal this guy with the kicker. I guess I should do the Cell Sword, shouldn't I? That way. I mean, the dragon's going to have haste. Just trying to save myself the four damage, right? Oh, but the dragon would have been more expensive to recast. Oh, you get, you get that uh, card for dual span dragon, even when, gold span dragon, even when you're targeting it with your own spell. I don't know if I realize that. Well, they have 31 cards. I need to double two Maddening Cacophonies before I die. Well, I can dual strike here and Maddening Cacophony. Then I guess I'll just have to block. Block the Jaded Cell Sword with my Ruin Crab. I guess last turn I should have blocked him with a Ruin Crab and into the Royal Dawn the Dragon. So they've got 14 cards in hand now. If I can just survive, Seagate Stormcaller will copy Maddening Cacophony, and that's all, folks. But can I survive? Oh, they've got Abandon the Post. Well, 
Well, do they have a counter spell? Here's my Seagate Stormcaller without the kicker. And here's my Maddening Cacophony. I'm starting to think maybe I won't play the Seagate Stormcaller in this deck because it only can copy the Cacophony. And I'll say thanks. Yeah, I get myself a win. And I'll say good game. And that's how Tasha's Hideous Laughter de deck works. You can mill your opponents out, annoy people, you get the fast concessions, and then you bump into the gigantic decks that people have that are over 100 cards. Thanks for watching. I'm the MTG Greybeard. Open to any tips you might have about how I need to change my life and stop playing a mill deck.